welcome, welcome. Today we're just going to do a little bit of pattern work. It's fun. It's a little pleated sleeve. And this sleeve was shown to me. It was worn on the series Desi Designated Survivor, Emily Rhodes. And what's interesting is a customer, one of you, my lovely customers, sent and said, hey, I love this blouse. How do I do it? And I thought I would show you all how to do it on these webcasts. Um, it is, I don't have the garment, so I can't measure it. But what's interesting, when you Google Emily Rhodes Designated Survivor White Blouse or something along those lines, you get where Burberry came in and tried to do a blouse or is trying to promote a blouse that's like it. And it's horrible. <laughs> it's horrible. It's not even close to the blouse. So I thought I would <laughs> at least try to give you a better direction as to what the blouse is. So it's very simple. It's just a simple sleeve treatment. You can do woven or knit. It doesn't make any difference. It's a matter of how you get the blouse on. Obviously, I'm going to do a knit. I've got this beautiful white cotton, um, and it's really, it's got a two-way stretch. It's beautiful, beautiful knit. Um, so there's a pleat in the sleeve is what it is. So what I've done is I've taken my sweater set because I decided I was going to use a knit. I've made the sleeve short, um, copied just the top, top part, you can leave it longer. When you look at the photo, you can't really tell exactly how long it is, or you may want to change it. You may want to make a difference just to make it shorter. And then you can always cut it off and shorten it. So make it a little longer than you think you want it. So then I copied it and on one side, because the sleeve is the same on both sides, I added the seam allowance. And so once I've added the seam allowance, I can just use this side twice. And then right in here through the cap line area. Now remember, I don't have the sleeve to actually uh, measure it. So I'm guesstimating by looking, but there's going to be a seam down the sleeve. This I'm going to cut to a pivot point. And so I'm showing you how easy this sleeve is, so I thought I would do it while you're watching. And I'm going to open it up. And I'm going to open it up two inches, which is extreme. But I think that's what the sleeve is, and you can kind of look at it and you can decide what it is. But once you open it to two inches, you cut from here over to what is going to be your pivot point. So if I open it up two inches, which is what that is, it'll allow me to have a one inch pleat, if I've done the math correctly. So I'm going to tape that there. I'm going to tape that there. And then you're just gonna you're just gonna um, match where you left off to the new point. And don't change anything. Don't taper it off. Don't do anything like that. You need it. You could leave that on there. And then once you actually make the pleat, the pleat actually goes to the front. That's actually what the pleat looks like. It's pleated to the front, and then it goes that way. I'm gonna cut this off. So the pleat goes to the front. So actually when you close the pleat, that's when you cut off this portion so that it all sews into the sleeve. So that all sews into that sleeve seam. So that's what it's going to look like. It's just a little bit distorted. But when you close it up, you don't actually stitch any of this. You just stitch that and then that pleat will lay like it is. The bottom of the sleeve on this particular blouse has not been finished. It's just a rolled edge. I'm going to finish it, I think, on mine, and then I'm going to add a few other little treatments down the front. But that's the pattern. Let's get it made. And it's just a fun little sleeve. And I think, again, I love sleeves. I love sleeves, but I like them to be a little different and not dramatic, but just a little different. This definitely fits the bill. All right, so let's get sewing.
How do I tell you that I love my top? <laughs> I just, I love it. I wasn't sure that I'd really like this sleeve. It's different um, and I really like it. Let me tell you some things about this in general. It's on the mannequin because I really wanted to point to things I didn't want to be pointing to my body. But anyway, um, the fold over elastic decision was there to support the, the vertical chain. The chain is very lightweight, but it needed a little bit of stopping and starting. So this particular chain has little channels all through it. So I just took a needle and hand stitched that just a couple times, very light, it's a very light chain. It doesn't need much and so you can see as it goes in and out, it, it's completely free hanging until I get to the bottom and then once I got to the bottom, I did the same thing. I just went through the channel and secured it to the hem. And then in this particular case, I left it hanging on the outside because I thought it was kind of cute. I just thought it was kind of different. But you could take it only part way. You don't have to take it all the way to the bottom. Um, you could form all kinds of little patterns with this in and out, in and out thing. You could do a couple rows and make them shorter. There's just endless things. The sleeve should not be the focal point. It should really be just um, there as a complement to the front. The chain is really the focal point. And it's a beautiful focal point. I love white and silver together. I think it's classic. It's timeless. The sleeve is too long, if you notice. I'm going to go back and cut it off, but I wanted to show you the difference. This is a one to, to three, or excuse me, it's a one to two. It really looks better, I think, and you can do it as a one to two, but I think it really looks better as a one to one. So basically what that means is the distance from here to here should be the same distance from here to here. And you can see that that really accentuates that pleat much more and it gives it a little more focus rather than there being a lot of sleeve and a little pleat. So just a suggestion, I'm gonna suggest go one to one, unless you just really wanna cover your arms and then you could go one to two or one to three if you want a three quarter length sleeve. Anyway, love it, hope you have fun. It's quick, it's easy. Um, you've got all your fit there. The base pattern is the 195. I just used the fold over elastic, a little chain and then a little bit of pattern work and you saw it all Happy sewing from Silhouette Patterns.